Okay, so what we're going to be doing is using West Point Bridge Builder. Easiest thing to do is to find it is to just click on the bottom left corner and just type in West Point Bridge Builder. I already have it open. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to be prompted with a window that looks like this. You're going to click Next. You're just going to say No. And just leave it in the standard uh, configuration. Standard configuration as well. So medium strength concrete, standard truck. All the same. Now you can choose to use a um, a template if you'd like. I'm just gonna use one just because it's a good start to show you. And we're gonna press finish. So now we have a truss. Now our goal here is we need to make this truss as cheap as possible, but being able to hold the weight of the the truck that is crossing it. So you have a couple tools here. You have a toolbar that should show up. If it doesn't, you can go here and you can click on tools if it's not. You have the area where you build your truss. And then on the right, right hand side is a really important place we're we'll using later on. And that tells us the numbers associated with all those trusses. Um, you know, size, length, but what the numbers we're really going to be looking at are the compression and the tension strengths. So, we're going to start to put in all of our joints, so I'm just using the template that they have. And if you make a mistake and you put one up there, not a big deal. You can come back and just erase it. So put all of our... And again, I'm using a template. You don't have to. But if it's your first time, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put our members in. So we click members, and we click and drag this time. So we're going from one to the other. And just keep in mind, the more elaborate you make it, the more expensive it's going to be. So trying to make the simplest bridge is really a good idea. So clicking through, we're almost done here. Okay, so in order to test the bridge, we're going to click on this button right here, the blue button. You're going to see the bridge falls down right away and the, which is perfectly normal it's a normal thing but over here is the key part so you got some reds and you get some blues that means that these reds these all of these members they broke because they were in too much compression and the blues are the ones that broke because they were in too much tension so what we need to do because they all broke because these broke i'm going to click shift so i'm going to hold or i'm going to sorry i'm going to hold control and I'm going to click all of them. So I'm just going down the line and control. If you make a mistake, just keep holding control and you can unclick it. So these all broke because they're too small. So we're going to come up here and we can change the, the material. You can change the type. You can change the size, thickness. These are the two buttons I want you guys to focus on. So these are too small. So we need to make them bigger. We need to increase the size. So we're going to click once and we're going to run it again. It'll probably fall down again, not a big deal. But you'll see that the ones that we have selected previous, some of them didn't break this time. So now we only have these sets. Now, because these are all in the same line, I can just very quickly hold Shift and click the bottom of them. So I'm going to click the first one, and I'm going to click the bottom one holding Shift, and it's going to select all of them. Again, these are all small, so we need to make them bigger. Run it again. Oh, okay. So we get to a point where now it can at least hold the tr hold the um, a truck a little bit. So now we'll do these again, all small. Made them all one size bigger. Run it again. And you can see we're at three hundred and forty three thousand right now, which is good. Now you see a couple of them. Some of the other ones, still too small. So I'm just clicking the ones that broke, making them bigger. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, you're making them bigger, Mr. Bernstein. Well, they're increasing my cost. Well, you're right. But what we're going to do is we're going to find the ones that don't need to be as big, and we're going to do the opposite. We're going to make them smaller. So you see now that actually holds the truck. So we come back to our design, and then this is where the optimization, the efficiency of the bridge comes into play. 
we can click on any of these and we can sort them. So what we're going to do is I always start in compression. That's the right way to do it, but that's the way that I do it. So you see some of them are in z all zeros. That means that they have no compression on them, which means on the compression column, we don't care about them. We're not looking at them. You notice they do have a tension number on them, though, which means when we move to the tension column, we're going to worry about them. So what, what I usually do is I usually start with anything greater than zero and less than, let's say, a 0.7. Our goal is to make this number as close to 1 without going over. Because as soon as we get over to one, over 1, 1 means it breaks right away. Okay, It's basically we're using 100% of its efficiency. We want these numbers to be as close to 100% as possible. So anything that's greater than 0 but less than 0.7, we'll say, that means that they're not, they're almost too big. So let's make them smaller. So instead of clicking the, the larger button, the increase button, we're going to click on the decrease button. So we're make them smaller. Notice we dropped we dropped about ten grand, ten thousand dollars. We'll run it and we'll see if it holds up. All right. And you notice it does. Gets all the way across and it's safe. Now when I jump back here, you notice it's some of them increased, some of them increased a lot. So what we're going to do is, again, same rule of thumb. Anything that's greater than 0 but less than 0.7. So I'm holding shift while I click these. So 0.7. Make them smaller. Run it again. Get to a point. You're just going to keep on doing this until you get to a point where you can't make it any cheaper. And if you make it any cheaper, it's going to break. So, again, greater than zero, less than 0.7. You know, you notice the number of them that we have are getting smaller. But you also notice that the cost is also going down as well. So we're at 330,000. Okay. Do this. Notice two of them jumped up pretty high. Now they're now we're using 90% of that efficiency, which is good. Same thing. Now, because we're getting to only we're only going to be manipula manipulating about four of them that under that are under 0.7. I'm going to bump my number up. I'm going to say anything under 0.8 now. And we're going to drop them again. Look, we just lost another five grand. Now we're starting to get to a point where these things are going to start to break because they're getting too small. So you notice these two broke, so we're going to make them bigger. So we selected them, make them bigger by one, run it just to make sure that it's all good, and then we'll continue our minimizing process, making things smaller. So it works. Great. Come down here. Anything that's less than point. Uh, we'll, we'll do these two. Less than 0.75. We'll make them smaller. Like I said, we're going to get to the point. We're going to get to a point where we really can't do much anymore. Okay. That's good. Works. Same thing. Let's make those two smaller again. I think we might get one more. One more run out of them. We are pushing these things. All right. Yeah, so look at that. We we sent the one that we selected all the way up to 99% and the other one to 80. We might be able to drop this guy. Maybe one. Might break, though. I think that was one we played with earlier. Yeah. So at this point, we got to make that one bigger. At this point, the compression column, we really can't get any more out of. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to do the exact same thing to the tension column. So anything greater than 0 but less than 0.7. Make them all smaller. And watch watch my cost when I do this. Dropped 10 grand. So just keep on trying, and you'll eventually get it.